Hey guys, it's Brie. I am sorry everything has been kind of hectic and that I haven't had any videos up in the last couple days, but I have been super sick, laying in bed pretending that like I don't exist so that my body will just sleep. <laughs> and now it is time for a review. So today we're going to be talking about Six Wakes by Mer Lafferty. This is a book. Six Wakes revolves around a crew of what's essentially like a generation ship. It's like a cryo ship. There are a bunch of people who have undergone cryogenic freezing and are being sent to another planet. The ship is crewed by clones who are just kind of regenerated constantly into one, into replicas of their older body with their consciousness mapped onto the clone's brain. The clones all wake up having been killed. Uh, they don't know what happened. Their bodies are like floating around the spaceship because the grav drives are off. There's blood everywhere, gore everywhere, and it is a murder mystery in space. Plus all sorts of super cool like clone ethics. The idea of this ship is, by and large, that it is being driven by clones who are going for a fresh start. They're people who they don't want to have their past follow them anymore. They are, by and large, criminals. Some of them are violent murderers. Some of them are political criminals who have spoken up against the regime. Um, but they are all after just getting a clean, fresh start. When they wake up and the grab drive is off, their bodies have been like very clearly the victims of serious murder. Um, their AI is offline and is struggling to get back online. Basically everything has been sabotaged. Their food replicator is making exclusively like hemlock. Um, so they are, they're rushing to try to save themselves, knowing that if they fail their mission, they're like costing the lives of a couple thousand people. And not only that, but that they will never really have that fresh start that they've been wanting to have. So of course, we get the paranoia. Everybody is suspicious of everybody else. We have people with plenty of secrets all of whom are vastly interesting and like they're they're slowly needling at one another to try to figure out who is the murderer um all of course while trying to get the ai back on and the food processor working and like everything back in order it's all kinds of crazy but i had such a good time with this book i think that it has a really fun murder mystery aspect, right? Like you were trying the whole time to kind of figure out who, who killed it, who done it. Um, it took me basically up until the end to really know who the murderer was. It wasn't one where I was able to figure it out really quickly. Um, I had suspicions and like 10 pages later, my suspicions would be like totally reversed and I think someone else had done it. A lot of the characters I thought were really likable and they'd had terrible things done to them in the past. You find out that there's this greater conspiracy behind all of these clones, um, which I saw that aspect coming ahead of time. But I didn't quite know how that kind of conspiracy would play into the actual murder mystery. Overall, I thought it was super fun. Um, the characters are really interesting and developed, I think, surprisingly well. The plot is really well integrated, I think, with some of the thought processes. This has a lot to, like, mull over in terms of ethical dilemmas and I really like that aspect in a book. Um, if you know me, I love a little bit more of like philosophical musings in my stories and this just like ticked off every box in that regard for me. It talks about like how do you punish someone who's a clone? How do you get revenge on someone who's a clone? What is ethical as far as what they can will to themselves as opposed to willing to their family? What does that relationship look like when their immediate family has been dead for a hundred years? I really liked almost all of the characters. There's Hero, who sometimes has blackouts, so he doesn't know what he did or did not do. There's 
Maria, who is a maintenance officer, but is much more than what she seems. Joanna, the medical doctor, who was involved in the very first clone laws. Um, just a, a variety of characters, most of whom I think are really well developed. The story is fun and engaging. I really liked it. Overall, I thought it was just a ton of fun to read, and I'm really excited to see what Mer Lafferty comes out with next. So, funny story. I got this as a review copy from Orbit, but because the first copy got lost in the mail, they had to resend it to me. A couple of weeks later, the original copy showed up at my doorstep. Thank you, USPS. Um, so I have a second copy. And I think the most natural thing to do with it is to do a giveaway. So go ahead and leave me a comments in the comments area below and we will consider that an entry. It's going to be open to the US and Canada. Uh, international shipping is just a little bit much. And we'll say that it closes a week from today. So next Thursday at midnight. I will go ahead and announce the winner, not this Friday Reads, but the next Friday Reads. So you will know who you are and I will be in touch to get your contact information so I can send the book your way. If you have read Six Weeks, let me know what you think of it. I thought it was just so much fun. You know the drill. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. I hope you're having a fantastic reading week and I will see you later. Bye.